Okay, I have a complaint to the argument that we're not exactly the horoscope sign that we think we are, that if you're Aquarius, you're actually a sign before rather than you're a Capricorn, because the speed of light can take the time to reach here, and the sky we're seeing is really the past. Whatever. Okay, um, I have a parable for you. Imagine you're in the 18th century, and you want to find out what every Aquarius um, acts like. Well, you're going to go to actual Aquarians, you know, people born around February and late January, and you're going to observe their behavior. You're not going to keep reading books from like 1 AD about what the Aquarian personality is. So what I'm implying is that just because the actual constellation might even be, what if I am a Capricorn? I still have the traits of the February 10th date that astrologers have been setting on Earth. Not in the cosmos, we're not looking at the constellation itself, we're looking at down-earth behavior. So, I want to get across to you that what they're studying is the pattern of the people today in the present, and that the constellation itself has nothing to do with it. Like, there's not some, like, Aquarian god living in the constellation Aquarius. Which brings up another question. If their stars are different suns for them, and that's their solar system what is our star to them like are we in the constellation hercules because i mean we're in totally different archetypal uh, surroundings so i mean do they have saturn and jupiter of course not they have something around the same size just because they have different archetypes doesn't mean our archetypes don't pertain to us and people think well if astrology is real for us and every other alien you know has to go by our system no they go by their own system because everything in the universe the ether surrounding us the matter is so various that everyone has their own kind of astrological vibrations to pick up on it's what you study on earth it's not what's actually out there